Good morning, guys. Mo Morales out here back at my favorite spot to just walk around. And, you know, if I see a beautiful bird, I see a beautiful boy. Today I'm carrying light. I'm packing only my 100 to 400 by Sigma on my X-T5 and my binoculars. Whole purpose of today is to, I got here earlier than normal for me, right? Not earlier than other people. Don't mind the truck in the background. Um, because I wanted to see if I got here earlier, would I see a little difference? Which I know I will, because being a lazy birder, you might as well not be a birder. And I'm looking for a woodpecker today. I love woodpeckers. And when I first saw my first real woodpecker, I was a grown adult. I was like, it's like three, four years ago. It wasn't that long ago. Um, a, a real one in person. I grew up in the projects and, and you know, the, the development areas of those cities and stuff. So you didn't have a lot of um, nature adventures or walkthrough going on. So when I finally got out here birding with Omar Gonzalez and I saw my first woodpecker, I was like, wow Ooh, what is that is that a fox nope nope just a big fat squirrel <laughs> wow that was a fatty boy all right i can't talk i'm a big fat boy my damn self so as i was saying I, I grew up in such a tough world but i didn't let it define who i became as a man and i think around about that has nothing to do with this walk and anything but you don't come here because i'm going to drop knowledge and be consistent you come here so that we can talk and enjoy ourselves as older people. If you young guys are watching, that's fine, but you know, if you don't have back pain, you really shouldn't be watching me. Um, <laughs> but I thought that was a bird. It's just a person with a hat. Anyway, I lost my whole train of thought, which is perfect for this video. Hear that one? Red belly woodpecker. So I want to capture him, but this is what I'm facing. He's, here, let me turn this around. He's somewhere in, in this tree line here, um, but he could be anywhere. And the closer I get, he's probably gonna fly away. But let's go see if we can find him. I'm so happy. I, I found him or her. I'm gonna say him because the coloration um, usually is brighter on the males. And I'm very happy. I'm very happy today. I, I haven't been walking long and I got the woodpecker I was looking for. And then I heard another one up in this tree here. Um, then he stopped or she stopped and now I can't pinpoint it. Now, if you're a birder, you know what's a life list. And I just think I found something that will be new on my bird list. I've never seen it before. The red belly woodpecker is still up here and there was another one over there, but you have to remember not to be so focused on finding what you're looking for when you're out in nature, because you're gonna run into so many different things and you may miss something. Oh, when I first got to the park driving in, I got to see a beautiful deer. Now, now I think the plight of the deer is another horrible thing that here in the States is going on. Ooh, a chipmunk. Oh, excuse my language. I love chipmunks. Last week I told you I was looking for a chipmunk and I saw one, but I didn't capture it. And on this tree stump right here, he was just sitting there, minding his own business, posing for me right at the very tip of the tree trunk and I missed it because I'm over here yapping away. That's a bigger one than the one I shot. I shot a red belly woodpecker. This one sounds like a depiculated banger. Let's see what I can get. So I was wrong. It was the same uh, red belly uh, woodpecker. It was two of them and I, I, caught, I caught them banging out this tree really loudly. And then I got them over here. Um, I'll show the photos. I don't think I got a good photo, but I'll show them anyway. I'm not afraid to show you my, uh, my misses either. So not everything's gonna be perfect shot. I'm not here, again, I'm not here 
for a perfect shot. I'm here for the walk, nature, talking to you guys, and then absorbing everything I can absorb. This is wonderful. This is like that fresh after, that feeling after your first morning poop. You know what I'm talking about? You just feel so relieved. You feel so good. All right, so I'm going to head to the other side of the park where they have uh, the water. See if we can find any blue heron today, any uh, cromonts, or just some regular ducks. Ducks are always cute, you know? They're, they're, they're savage animals, though. Um, if you don't know anything about the ducks' mating uh, habits, why don't you Google that? They're savages. <laughs> All right, talk to you in a minute. Not much going on here today on the water side. I don't know if you can see it though. One of the most dangerous animals in the world, the Canadian geese, more, has caused more deaths in America than African lions. <laughs> it's a true story. Geese, Canadian geese, why? Where did they all go wrong? I think I'm gonna wrap it for today because I did a lot of walking and at the same time, I got my woodpecker and I got this other bird that I still have to identify. It was a very beautiful bird though. And I got my American Robin. It's, it's not a, it's not an outing if I don't shoot an American Robin. Said you needed a break and left with no heads out I was strong for your sake but it made my heart drown Cause it's always been you and I Give me one more try, this is messing with my mind Not gonna lie, but I'll give you the space so you can figure this out So I'm gonna wrap it up, I got to see a Baltimore Oreo and either a thrasher or something else, but you'll see the photos and you, I'll let you know once I identify them. Whew, but I'm gonna head out of here. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. As always, happy Sunday. Until next time, it's your Uncle Mo, be good. Stay strong, stay positive, always love, respect the beard, and get out there and do something today. <laughs>